Hello everyone, my name is Nilzor and welcome to this third Q&A. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them the next time around. So let's get started. First questions are from The Explosion 81. Que penses-tu de la franchise Halo et de son évolution Quel est ton gamer francophone préféré In English, what do you think of the Halo franchise and its evolution What is your favorite French-speaking gamer I actually haven't played Halo since I'm not really a big FPS gamer. As for favorite French-speaking gamer, I'd say le joueur du grenier when he's doing one of his funny reviews. Next question from Jorek. Could you do Fallout 3 101 Well, right now I'm planning on doing Pillars of Eternity 101 and I want to keep my schedule open to do Fallout 4 101 after I'm done with New Vegas. Alan Lane asks, Are you ever going to do the law for Fallout 1, 2, 3, Brotherhood of Steel, Tactics and the DLCs for Fallout 3? I believe I've talked about their lore when it's connected to the other ones, typically like in my video about the history of the Brotherhood of Steel. As if you are asking if I'm going to do a 101 series for each of these games, no I'm not planning to. From Goon and Gwen, are you going to make a Skyrim 101? Well, no. Next from Matt Reed, do you think the Lone Wanderer is the courier just older, or do you think they are different people? Oh, they definitely are two different individuals. One was born inside a vault on the east coast, and you play him or her in 2277. While the other one, although we don't know much about what happened before, is a courier on the west coast, plus you play him or her during New Vegas in 2281. So yeah, two different persons. Question from Colby Lighty. What do you like about Fallout the most? Definitely the setting. The humor is awesome and I always prefer a world that is different than the one we live in, which is why I prefer sci-fi or fantasy genre types of game. Spectral Tibot has two questions. Trouves-tu que Fallout 3 a moins de potentiel que New Vegas? Do you think Fallout 3 has less potential than New Vegas? I think both games have the same potential, since they are based in the same universe and are using the same game engine, but the differences between the two are fueled by the different approach that Bethesda and Obsidian has about their games. Bethesda tends to privilege the game world over its story and characters, like in Skyrim, whereas Obsidian tends to do the opposite. As a personal preference, I prefer Obsidian's approach because I'm a big lover of having lots of three-dimensional characters than a huge world to explore. And the second question... Si tu produis des vidéos en anglais, c'est pour atteindre un plus grand nombre de vues. If you're producing your videos in English, is it to reach a bigger number of views? It's to reach a wider audience. On YouTube, if you want to reach the largest number of people possible, you do your things in English. Axel Spencer 65 wonders. What kind of tabletop games do you play? Do you play miniature war games such as Warhammer or War Machine and if so, what faction? I don't play miniature war games, but I do play games like Battlestar Galactica, Arkham Horrors, Seven Wonders or Small World. Games where you play with a group of people with or against them. In the same line of questions, Zephrim Zantosa asks What tabletop games do you play, which tabletop games do you prefer, and what type of class or character do you enjoy playing as the most? Given the last questions, I'm guessing you're talking about RPG tabletop game. If so, I'm a part of a pretty active group and right now we have four games being played. One game of Star Wars, one of Delta Green, one of Unknown Armies, and one of Shadowrun that I'm mastering. As for my favorite games, I would say Dungeon and Dragons 3.5 and Call of Thulu for its excellent atmosphere. And for favorite class, I usually go for the Knowledge Seeker class, like Mage or Librarian. From Matt the Modest, any plans of doing any more in-depth psych evaluations of other characters in the Fallout series outside of the great ones you've already covered? Well, I don't have plans per se, but I'm open to it. Once I'm done with New Vegas, I have yet to decide precisely what the future videos will be all about, but in-depth spikes evaluations of other Fallout characters is a possibility. Next, from Rhys Cowell, what is your favorite song on the radio in Fallout New Vegas? I love the instrumental songs in Old World Blues, as for one with actual lyrics, probably Johnny Guitar. The Crippled Eggs asks, if you could bring any Fallout creature into real life, which one would it be? If we are speaking organic, Brahim seems the more harmless and useful. If we are speaking of any kind, probably a robot like Edie. 
Two similar questions. One from Epic Shadow 26 asking, Do you play Dark Souls? If you do, what do you think of it? And from Johan Kuasi also asking, Que penses-tu de la licence des Souls? What do you think of the Souls franchise? I haven't played it. I know it's one of the hardest game in existence, but it's not the kind of game I have a tendency to play. I'd probably wedge quit before ending the first level or something. Extremist would like to know if I watch Angry Joe. I do. Not all his videos, but most of them. Last one I've watched was the one about the Order 1886. From ENS Gaming, have you ever left your home country? If so, where did you go? And in the same idea, Liquified Aqua is asking, which countries did you visit and what was your favorite experience while visiting? So I live in France and I've been to the United Kingdom, Germany, Belgium, Switzerland. In the USA, I've been in New York and Washington. And before that, when I was little, I've also been in Austria and Western Canada around Vancouver. As for my favorite experience, I will say to witness the striking differences between American and European cities. Like in Washington, where there's all these monuments facing each other in straight lines with big square streets all around, whereas here in Paris, you've got monuments left and right with narrow roads going in every direction. Next two questions from Bistabuelos. If you had a turban and it was flavored, what flavor would it be? I don't get these questions. On turban, the thing you put on your head, they are flavored? Have you considered any type of cooking videos like original recipes or stuff like that? Well, if you are speaking about something that is more like nerdy nummies, where recipes got a theme to it, then no. I really want to make a show to transpose in-game food into real life and to stay as close as possible as to what it looks like in the game. Noble356x is asking three questions. Quel est ton sport préféré? What's your favorite sport? None, unless we are talking about eSport, then it's watching StarCraft 2 tournament. Quel est ton équipe de rugby préférée si tu regardes? What's your favorite rugby team if you're watching? I don't watch rugby. Qu'attends-tu pour Fallout 4 s'il sort? What are you expecting for Fallout 4? Apart from a new game engine, new setting, story and characters, I'm curious about where in the timeline they are going to be set. Because right now, with New Vegas, we are 200 years after the apocalypse, the world is healing, and the further we are gonna go, the further we are gonna be of all the post-apocalyptic feel of the world, which is a trademark of Fallout. So I'm really curious as to what they are going to do about that. Next from Prook 2012. Where do you want or think the next Fallout is going to be set? Well, since Bethesda is making it, it will probably be on the East Coast, so my guess would be either in Boston or in Florida. From Mr. Fruit Snacks 21, do you lift? If so, what's your routine? Well, I try to exercise twice per week when I have the time, just to stay in a not too bad shape. As for my routine, it's mostly cardio and body weight exercises. Breton Charles asks, favorite class to play in WoW and why? And what is your favorite role? Tank, heal or damage? My favorite class is Warlock because I love to send out my minions and running around the battleground cursing everyone. As for favorite role, DPS has always been my preference. Chicle5 would like to know what is my PC build. I have two PCs actually. An old desktop PC that I'm mainly using for office stuff like writing my scripts and watching videos. And I have a gaming laptop, which is a 3 years old Asus G74S with an i7 2.2 GHz, 8GB of RAM and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 560M 3GB. I'd like to buy a new one, but right now I don't have any money to put into a new gaming PC, so that we'll have to wait. Next question from Crusader. Dans l'univers de Fallout, quelle faction est la plus viable au long terme Si, selon toi, aucune ne répond à cette question, quel type de faction pourrait se permettre d'atteindre ce but In the Fallout universe, what faction is the most viable long term If, according to you, none answers the question, what type of faction could achieve that goal Well, as of New Vegas, the NCR seems the most capable of lasting, but it will encounter the same problems that the old American government had and eventually collapse. So if any current faction is to last forever, I would say none are right now, but what society in human history ever has? 
All regimes fall sooner or later. The only thing that perdure forever are its people. But it's always interesting to experiment and test what can last forever. XXMicProXX asks, what programs do you use to create your videos? Also, what is your favorite genre of game? My favorite genre of game is RPGs, as you might have guessed. The programs that I'm using are Sony Vegas for the editing, Adobe After Effects for all the special effects and animations, The Game for creating the graphics, Audacity to record the audio, and Fraps for in-game footage. Philip Omeika is asking, can I trust Amazon that they will deliver me a new and unused collector's edition of Fallout 3? Well, I guess so if that's what they are saying and you paid attention during the selection of the item you wanted. If you're not happy, contact the customer service, which is actually pretty great. One time I had a courier busting out my letterbox while forcing a package containing books to fit in it. I've contacted them and they told me that they will reimburse the repairman bill, which was very nice of them. And finally, from Mawan Shafui, Salut Nizor, quels sont tes films et séries préférés? Hey Nizor, what are your favorite films and series? Well, I tend to prefer things that have characters being developed, so in terms of movies, I prefer trilogies and sagas, like The Lord of the Rings or the Marvel Cinematic Universe. As for series, my three all-time favorites are Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Battlestar Galactica and Spartacus. And for series that are currently airing, I would say The Good Wife, Vikings, Orange is the New Black, and I really liked Agent Carter, which I'm hoping will get a second season of. Okay, so that's it for this Q&A. Leave your questions in the comments for me to answer next time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.